Hey Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector channel where we are a community of collectors. Today we have the next Wizarding Trunk High Security Vault. This is from their special edition quarterly box subscription. And they also have a bi-monthly subscription service you can sign up for. But if you see High Security Vault, that means it is the quarterly box. So this box right here, has a house pride theme. The Wizarding Trunk did four different boxes, all with different items representing your Hogwarts house. I'm wearing a Slytherin shirt to celebrate, and the items in this box are all going to be Slytherin themed. I want to get inside here, so let's take a quick look at the box. The Wizarding Trunk presents High Security Vault, Magical Post, and Fragile or Fragile Magical Delivery. All right, let's jump right into it. like spoiler sheet, I believe. Yes, okay, so we're gonna put that under the box. And we have some schnigglies, so we're gonna get rid of those. All right, here we go. First item is uh, like maybe a decal. It is, it's a decal, and it looks like a banner that would be hanging in the Slytherin common room, or perhaps the Great Hall, or even on the Quidditch pitch when Slytherin is playing Quidditch. This is really nice, what is this material? It's like almost woven, it, it, well, it looks almost woven, I don't think it is actually woven, but it has like the appearance of woven material. I like the design, the watercolored look of this, kind of line drawn, it's not perfect, it's just a really sharp, bright, colorful Slytherin decal. Good start, and the next item is a patch, House Pride patch. 02 are the numbers, 02, why is it 02? I don't know, maybe like we'll see on the spoiler sheet why it's the number 02 or two. Could this be a Quidditch position? I'm not sure, but we have a house patch. I am pretty sure this is an iron on patch. So you can iron this on somewhere, a bag or a shirt or a jacket and show your house colors. The one thing I don't love about this is that it doesn't have anything to do with Slytherin. It's just the color. It would have been nice if the O was like a snake or something to really represent Slytherin house. But a fun addition to the box that gives you some house pride. Next up we have a Slytherin themed notepad with probably like 25 sheets maybe, 20, 25 sheets. And it's a basic notepad, it looks like parchment. So I like that parchment look on here. It makes it feel a little bit more magical. And there is a Slytherin crest in the center of each page on this notepad. So this is great to put on your counter, jot down your lists, your notes, whatever you would like to put on here. A great addition to show your house pride every single day. What is this? What looks like maybe like a tapestry? Now we see a tapestry in the Gryffindor common room. Is it possible that the Wizarding Trunk has invented tapestries for the other houses? I think it's quite possible. I don't, oh, it's a unicorn. Okay, they're trying to hunt a unicorn, which is really bad because they are gonna have a cursed life and a half-life. Everyone involved here, there's a lot of people involved here, but maybe they want to be immortal and they couldn't care less. Poor unicorn. This is quite the impressive tapestry. Look at that artwork. I mean, really sad that the unicorn is being attacked and hunted, but we have dogs on here. Oh, look, the unicorn is actually stabbing a dog. You go, unicorn, you you get that, that hunter. So this is, I guess, something that would hang in the Slytherin common room. The only Slytherin aspect of this is the fact that they're killing a unicorn. I would never look at this and say, oh, that's like a Slytherin tapestry that you would find in the common room. So it doesn't really represent Slytherin. I'd have to look at the Gryffindor tapestry to be like, oh, how does it represent Gryffindor? Is it kind of in your face Gryffindor? Is it a little more on the subtle side of Gryffindor? That said, this is like really beautiful. I don't know who did this. So well done. Really great size really nice printing, really nice colors, and feels like a tapestry you would find hanging on the walls of Hogwarts Castle. So really impressive, even though it doesn't really give me Slytherin feels. All right, we have a Slytherin hat. 
It's a knit hat. I never look good in these beanies, these floppy beanies, but it's a Slytherin scarf beanie. I don't know if I've seen that before. And it's knit. It's like actually knit. It's not like a pattern printed onto fabric. The hat itself is actually knit. Fun and something that I don't think I've seen before. All right, we have another material item. Wow, there's a ton, holy cow. <gasps> Now that thing is, that is sharp too. Holy cow, that's beautiful. We've got a key. I know, it's like, what's this? Look at this. We have a, probably a Slytherin common room key. It's all silver. We have Salazar Slytherin's locket at the top and in the center. And there is a snake swirling all around the key. The key teeth are the fangs of a snake. We have a basilisk fang at the top here. This is really intricate. It says something on the shaft of the key. Cunning, one of the traits of a Slytherin. Wow, this is really nice. I like the fact that it's not like a bright, shiny silver. It's more of a dull silver. I don't think this would be called an antique silver, but just a dull, not shiny silver. Really, really nice. I want to see the other keys because this thing is awesome. That is beautiful. All right, let's get back to this other material item. Oh, I think it's a pillow cover. Yes. Oh, that's cool. This is definitely something I would expect to see in the Slytherin common room. Really cool design. It feels tapestry-esque. It also gives me Slytherin crest vibes, and it's a very soft decorative pillow cover. It has a zipper on the bottom. Great colors, and great design. And definitely something that we would see in the Slytherin common room. Ooh, they've also included hooks for the tapestry. That's really nice. All right, what's next? We have a Slytherin tie. So it's just a, a basic Slytherin tie, just a fun addition to this Slytherin pride box. And I'm pretty sure this is a thinner tie than the ones that you purchase from Lockhaven or Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And it has some ridges or kind of like a ribbed look to it. It looks like one of the less expensive ties that you can purchase from Amazon or Wish. But feel wise, this is a lot nicer than those less expensive ties that you can purchase. So a great alternative, and I'm assuming that they're gonna be selling all of the different house ties on their website. So if you're looking for a less expensive house tie, this is probably a good option for you. All right, there's a candle in here, common room. The scent is musk, moss covered stones, and mint, and it says ambition on there. Laurel Mountain Candle Co. Let's give it a sniff. It has a nice scent to it. I'm not getting any mint. There is a little bit of a musk scent to it. It's a little too sweet, too perfumey, and doesn't necessarily feel like what I would guess the Slytherin common room to smell like. Mint, I think that's kind of good, like a minty, not fresh mint, but a minty scent, muskiness. Must, must, musty, not musk, musty, like a musty scent. That probably wouldn't make the best candle scent, but that's kind of what I would imagine the Slytherin common room to smell like because it's, I mean, it's underneath the Black Lake. So water may be seeping through the stone walls a little bit. It smells really good. It's just not what I would imagine the Slytherin common room to smell like. All right, what's next? <laughs> I think this is like a class ring. This is an awesome overall Slytherin or house pride box. On the inside of the ring, it says ambition. It's totally a Slytherin class ring. So we have a snake in the center of the ring and then an S and a shield on the sides of the ring. And then on the inside, it says ambition. It has a nice weight to it. It's made of solid metal and it's a cool understated Harry Potter related design and ring. I like it. And a little detail here, green bag, as it should be. The wizarding trunk always puts great thought and detail into their items. What's this? So I don't think there's going to be a book cover because this is their quarterly box. It's like a poster or something. Oh, I bet it's going to be like a poster of the common room. It is. Oh, there's a lot of detail in this. Hey, and there's the tapestry. This is cool. All right, so we see the tapestry on the walls in the background, a roaring fire, a cauldron, a sitting area, and windows looking into the Black Lake. This is a really cool poster of the Slytherin common room. I like the green hues, it has a green glow to it, and just seeing the tapestry on the walls, that, that's really, really fun. This is definitely a great addition to the box, and again, now I wanna see the other boxes, the other house boxes too to see what the wizarding trunk has done with the Hufflepuffs, 
the Ravenclaws and the Gryffindors. All right, perhaps a potion. What have we here? It's a potion ingredient, deadly nightshade. Caution, it's poison. The antidote is mustard and warm water to vomit. So like eat all the mustard and warm water you possibly can until you vomit, okay? Then give whites of eggs freely and vomit again. Then you have to seek a healer immediately, a healer, AKA a magical doctor. Very fun, simple potion ingredient, beautiful label, bottled by Pure Blood Apothecary. And I like whatever this is in here, these shriveled up nightshade berries. Gives a really cool look and effect. I love the simple bottle with the cork. I'm not the biggest fan of the purple wax that was used on top. I know that purple can represent poison, but aesthetically it would have been nice if it was maybe just black or like a dark green or something. So I'm not a big fan of the purple on top, but that said overall, a fantastic potion ingredient from the Wizarding Trunk. All right, we have two pins in here and what looks to be a print. Let's take a look at the pins first. <laughs> cool. So they have created prefix badges. This is really nice too. Nice shiny enamel finish on the pin, beautiful silver coloring, and prefect is written across a banner in front of a shield. That's a really, really nice pin right here. It's heavy, it's a two clasp pin, nicely designed, finished. I really like that shiny enamel shield. It has like a pearlized effect, really, really nice. Great pin. And the other pin, I'll let you guys see it first. Dun -da -da. What could it be? Is that Salazar Slytherin? It's a portrait of Salazar Slytherin. Okay, that is cool. This reminds me of the Dumbledore portrait pin that was in the Keep Collecting Box. So it's cool that the Wizarding Trunk is continuing with portrait pins and they've really improved like the design of the frames too. I almost wish that the Dumbledore pin was in a frame like that. Fun design of Salazar Slytherin. He has his locket around his neck. There's a clear coat over the portrait itself, which gives the look of glass. Just overall a really nice pin, a really nice size. Beautifully designed, really, really beautifully designed. And I like this artwork of Salazar Slytherin. He doesn't look like a very nice wizard and he shouldn't. Two great pins, those are awesome pins. Um, all right, so the print, oh, there are multiple prints on the inside here. All right, this one is a note from the Slytherin Prefect. Me, I forgot that I wrote this, but I'm gonna read it to you guys anyway. Uh, dear students, I didn't write it. I'm just pretending because you know I got the prefix pin. So I'm like the prefix. This morning's incident with the exploding ink was unacceptable and was reported immediately to the headmaster. Contrary to the hilarity those present in the common room seemed to feel, the joke was unbecoming of the upstanding scholars of this house. Anyone involved in further such shenanigans will face consequences to be determined. Sincerely, your prefect. That doesn't sound like something I would write or say. I'd be the one making the ink explode. So maybe I should give the prefect badge back. No, but very fun. That's a, a cool addition to the box and it makes you feel like you're part of Slytherin House. And there are some ink splatters on the paper itself. So the exploding ink has stained the prefix paper. Salem Sisters live in the Great Hall, October 31st. The Salem Sisters. That's fun. It's a little flyer to get everyone excited for Halloween, where we get to witness the musical delights of the Salem Sisters. Check out the back of this paper. Isn't that awesome? Looks stained and wet and worn and moldy like it's been in the Slytherin common room. All right, the last item and the last print is Grindy Low Hatchlings for sale. One galleon, non-violent until maturity. Meet me at midnight at the edge of the Black Lake and light your wand. Discretion appreciated. So this is some shady business right here. You're not supposed to be selling Grindy Lows. Okay, now I'm feeling like a prefect again. As I was saying, now I feel like a prefect again because this has to be stopped immediately. Fun design, and again, just the overall green look of this really gives you Slytherin feels, but also just Wizarding World feels. Like other houses might be sharing this flyer too because they want to get a Grindy Low. Just overall really, really cool. And one thing the Wizarding Trunk always does, and I'm assuming this was designed by Danny at Wizardry Workshop because he always does this. If you look at the front, see it says Grindy Low Hatchlings for sale on the back 
it looks like the paper has been wet and you can see a mirrored image of Grindy Low Hatchlings for sale printed on the back. Now you can't see through this paper. This is actually printed and designed to look as though you can see through the paper. This is like a heavy cardstock and you can't see through it. So just a great additional design element to make it look like this is like a thin parchment and you can see the printing from the other side or the printing has bled from the front to the back a little bit. Just really, really nice. All right, House Pride, oh, that's fun. It's like a bulletin board. So this is the spoiler sheet and it's a bulletin board with some information tacked and taped onto it. House Pride school tie. One of the required items of the school uniform is your school tie. We have included a brand new one in this box so you don't have to take a trip to the Wizarding Alley and pick one up. Common Room Painting. These Common Room Paintings were created for us by Queen Mab and Wizardry Workshop. Slouchy House Beanie. These slouchy house beanies were created specifically for the students that receive the wizarding trunk. Portrait pin. This pin depicts a very important person in the history of your house. Number five, house team letterman patch. Okay, so this is Quidditch related. Your letterman patch is in. The patch number represents the position you play on the house team. Well, I mean, for me that's incorrect because I play the Slytherin Seeker and this is not the Slytherin Seeker number. So I'm not sure how my order from the Quidditch team was mixed up. I'm just kidding. But what I think they've done is, my guess is probably Gryffindor is 07, the Seeker. And then they used different numbers for the different houses. Common room key. Having trouble remembering that common room password? Afraid to write down the answer again for fear of what happened last time you did that? This key should help. Designed for us by JP Mistlecrow. House stationary. Perfect for note-taking in your magical or non-magical subjects. Designed for us by Wizardry Workshop. House potions. Okay, so we have all of the different house potions listed on here. Deadly nightshade. This dried berry is used in a variety of deadly potions. It is extremely poisonous and should not be ingested. If you're interested, I will let you read the other three house potions. And these were bottled by Pure Blood Apothecary and designed by Wizardry Workshop. Prefect Pin. Congratulations on becoming a new school prefect. Designed in-house. 10. Common Room Tapestry. These tapestries can be found in each of the common rooms. Designed by Wizardry Workshop. Common Room Notices. Just a few of the notices that were posted to your common room notice board. Written in collaboration with the Wizarding Trunk and Wizardry Workshop and designed by Wizardry Workshop. Class Ring. Wax Stamp. Your class ring has arrived created for display, but can be used as a wax stamp designed by Wizardry Workshop. That's really cool. So if you wanted to use this as like a wax seal, you can take your ring off and seal those letters. Vinyl decal. This vinyl decal was designed for us by JP Mistlecrow. Throw pillow cover. These pillow covers were designed for us by Wizardry Workshop. Common room candle. These candles were created to smell like your common room created for us by Laurel Mountain Candles and designed by Queen Mab and Wizardry Workshop. And the next box theme is going to be potions. Now I think they're releasing a box before this potions box, but that one is sold out if I'm not mistaken. So the next box theme that you'll be able to purchase is potions class. Now I'm assuming there are gonna be a lot of potions in the potions class box. That's gonna be exciting to see. All right, let's see. Favorites and least favorites. I think the, the favorite goes to the key. This key is so well done, although the tapestry is really good too. But the key, I think, is going to be my favorite. I really liked the portrait of Salazar Slytherin, the tapestry, even though it doesn't really feel like Slytherin to me, it's so well done. And I can kind of see Slytherin within it, kind of Slytherin mindsets that we know from the Harry Potter books. You know, attacking unicorns to live forever, you know, all that stuff. I would never attack a unicorn, but there probably are Slytherins who would attack a unicorn. And this was so beautifully done. Minus the purple top, I liked this deadly nightshade potion ingredient. Like, even these were really, really fun. I love these notices from the notice board. 
Like, I want to see what the other houses have, or if they were the same. It's probably possible they were the same. At least these two, and then maybe this one was a little different, because this didn't say anything about, like, you know, the Slytherin common room. But it's possible that this is what the other houses received, too. All houses like magical creatures, right? Least favorite items are going to be the patch, probably the floppy beanie, and the tie. Oh, I really liked... The poster too. It was so cool to see the poster and the tapestry on the poster. What did you guys think about the House Pride box? Now you just saw the Slytherin box. So there are three other boxes with different items for you to check out. So definitely do some YouTube searches and find some other YouTube content creators who have opened the Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, and Ravenclaw boxes. And whether you're a Slytherin or not a Slytherin, what do you think about the Slytherin box? Did it represent Slytherin House? Are the items that were in here things that you could see in the Slytherin common room or Slytherin's wearing or doing? Let me know and let the rest of the Potter Collector community know in the comments down below. Also, let me know what your house is. And if you purchased the House Pride box, what did you think about your house variation? If you'd like to subscribe to the Wizarding Trunk, check the description down below. There's a link and a coupon code to save you some money on your purchase. That coupon code is Keep Collecting 10 If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at the Potter Collector or on Twitter at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching, and if you're new here, welcome. We cover all things Harry Potter on the Potter Collector channel, like books, merchandise reviews, unboxings, Wizarding World of Harry Potter videos, and more. If you would like to subscribe, you can click right here. You can also check out a previously posted video right around here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, feel free to leave a comment down below. I am happy to help. But for now, I must go. We'll see you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?